Hello and good evening. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for it to come on. Let a few people come in. Right, good evening and welcome to my uh, weekly 10 show, um, which is called Embrace Your Adversity. Um, before I actually jump into the actual show tonight, I just wanted to um, mention a lot of people going through some kind of adversity uh, at any given time, but specifically right now, um, with everything that's going on around us in the world, you know, it's normal for people to be, you know, stressed, struggling, worried, feeling anxious about whatever it may be. So that's a normal thing, especially when there's so much uncertainty around us. And, and you know, it can be difficult to move forward when you're feeling that way. You know, we can find ourselves st stuck, um, struggling to th think clearly and move forward. So... The reason I um, wanted to mention that is because um, I'm down to my last two people now in terms of how many I can work with a week. I can work with a maximum of 10 people a week um, and give them my full attention. Um, and I've got eight now. I signed up another two this week. So, um, so yeah, um, if you are procrastinating about whether or not hiring a coach will help you or not with that sort of thing and you've been thinking about this sort of stuff for a while and it's something you might consider doing in order to help you create a much more effective way of thinking and moving forward with your life then instead of overthinking it just do it take action you know and uh, get in touch and i'll have a chat with you and see how, how i can help you and move forward with that you know so it's something that um certainly improves people's lives massively so if you're thinking about it don't overthink it just do it and get in touch okay so tonight i'm going to talk about um how we can benefit from embracing our adversity in our life so it's totally normal for any of us to want to protect ourselves and people around us um, from experience any sort of hardship in life and adversity the focus there being on you know helping people to avoid any kind of mental and emotional sort of harm that they may be experiencing due to the adversity that they may be experiencing that's that's relative to all of us really you know especially in society, today's society you know and of course things like i don't know hate um violence bullying um they're things which we should all work against and to reduce in any kind of normal and just society that's normal um, when you think back over your life your whole lifetime and your personal experiences naturally we can um, point to things in our lifetime which have ne negatively affected us in some way or another often leading to you know in some cases severe mental and emotional difficulties later on in our lives trauma that goes with us for many many years which can stop us doing the things and really being the people that we truly want to be in life and uh, so it's normal for people to want to protect specifically younger people from that you know, protect anyone, but yeah, youngsters as well. But so it's normal for us to want to protect people from harm, from adversity. That's completely rational. It's normal. Personally, I have a very different view, however, um, when it comes to adversity. Um, the adversity that we all face in life, whether you like it or not. And yes, I agree, we should work to prevent the things occurring in the first place like i said bullying hate that sort of thing we should definitely do more to uh, reduce that although for me the emphasis should be more on how we see adversity in the first instance so when i was experiencing bullying myself and violence when i was a youngster when i was 13 14 years old um i learned to stand up for myself using aggression and violence and that belief was sown at a young age that the way to stand up to bullies was using violence and aggression. And subsequently, that moulded my life for the next 30 years. You know, I went through a lot of difficult circumstances as a consequence of those beliefs and attitudes that I developed at that age. So it moulded me, it, you know, it led me into all sorts of trouble with the police. It caused all sorts of trauma for my family it caused all sorts of pain for lots of people around me and so on so it created all sorts of difficult situations because of my belief around that situation at a very young age so naturally i saw that um that adversity that i went through when i was a young kid as a very bad thing at a time and uh, at that particular time and then of course the consequences that um led on to more 
negative things and antisocial behaviours. But it wasn't until many years later that I came to realise that um, the, the true benefit of that experience that I went through. You know, at the time it was the worst thing in the world. I hated every second of it. You know, and I, weren't, I wasn't in a good place. I was overweight. I was feeling, I had no confidence. I felt terrible all the time. And so it was, it was natural that obviously I saw that as a very negative experience. However, years later when I was in prison, I had to endure a lot of loss. Uh, my family all passed away and I went through a lot of difficult emotions at times, emotionally and mentally as well, um, dealing with all of that whilst in prison. Um, and it took a certain set of skills and attributes to get me through it, to be able to focus on the moment in order to arrange the family funerals for all my parents from prison, which wasn't an easy, sell the family home and just keep my sanity whilst dealing with a, 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 a prison sentence with no release date. So it wasn't an easy situation. However, it was things like um, resilience, um, courage, strength, determination. These are all the things that helped me cope and remain focused. And those were the things that I developed at that young age when I was being bullied. Those are the things that I developed uh, ex directly from that experience. Um, and they, were, they were a result of the adversity that I faced at that young age. And I, know, I knew I could cope with that situation later on in life when it happened. Because I'd already been through all sorts of trauma and difficulty earlier on in my life. All right, not on the level of... You know, being given a life sentence and losing all your family, but still trauma. And I knew that I could cope with it. I knew that I could deal with it in a confident and fearless way. And that, because of that, I knew that I could also deal with this in this situation. And that's what kept me... Uh, people say, how did you get through it? Well, it was because of my adversity in, earlier in my life. Because had I not gone through that adversity earlier in my life, the likelihood is I wouldn't have had those skills and attributes to deal with that later on in life. You see, everything happens for a reason in life. So whenever we experience adversity, it's normal for any of us to feel frustrated, uh, angry, victimised. We focus on um, things like blame, guilt, injustice, self-pity, all of these low energy sort of ways of thinking. And um, it's those kinds of things that create the mental and emotional problems that then hinder us as we move forward in life because we don't unpack that, we keep that with us and we deal, don't deal with those particular things because we're looking at the situation from the perspective of being victimised or, you know, there's some sort of conflict or whatever it is but that's, that's why we end up with those sort of emotional burdens and problems and later on have to deal with that as we get older and move through life. So what we often fail to do, however, is see adversity... Um, in any sort of positive light we don't see it as a learning experience or a way of growth and if you can refrain from actually seeing your adversity uh, through the lens of victimization or frustration uh, and instead choose to embrace it as an important lesson um, a lesson where you're learning something about yourself you're growing then you can start seeing the opportunity more. You can start seeing the possibilities. You can start being much more in control of what you're thinking, or in control of what you're feeling in that situation. So it doesn't mat matter what the adversity that you're going through is. You can control how you show up during that. And that means you're more able to t take actions that are going to be more constructive for you. Instead of seeing the situation as a problem, you start seeing the situation as an opportunity. It doesn't mean that you have to enjoy it. I mean, I didn't enjoy losing my family. But at the end of the day, I was able to see the situation more constructively rather than just seeing myself solely as a victim. So re reframing your perspectives um, of adversity helps you be at your most productive despite it. You know, we can't change life. We can't change the fact that we're going to all experience adversity in life. That's fact. You can change the way you approach it, though. And that's important if you want to be at your most productive and you want to overcome whatever it is that you're going through in a much more constructive, positive way so that you're moving forward in a much more constructive and positive way. So when you learn to see adversity uh, as a blessing instead of a problem, you start to feel much more at peace with yourself. You start developing peace of mind. You start becoming much more accepting of yourself, more accepting of the world around you.
less judging. You start becoming much more balanced mentally and emotionally. Um, you know, and you generally you start feeling more optimistic, more confident, more fearless. So that when do things do happen, you're less likely to suddenly fall apart and collapse every time something doesn't go the way you think it should. You know, like with these cost of living cry or COVID. To me, it was nothing because I just took it in my stride because I'd been through all of this stuff before. And it wasn't a big deal for me. I know it's hard for a lot. It was difficult. Yeah, it wasn't. I didn't want it to happen. But I dealt with it in a way which was constructive because I adapted to it. Because I, I was able to switch my perspectives to work for me in that situation rather than just seeing myself as a victim and, oh, what, a, what can't I do? And being, again, blaming, self-pity, looking at the injustice of the situation, which loads and loads of people were doing. And that relate, resulted in them feeling, you know, depressed and God knows what else. Suicides. So um, when you feel more optimistic, when you feel more confident, you start to make healthier choices in life and decisions. And they lead on to productive actions. It's very important that your actions are productive in life. And they're only ever going to be productive if you're thinking productively. And productive actions lead on to a happier life and more success or success generally. So do you choose, do you choose to embrace adversity or would you rather see yourself as a victim to it? The choice is yours. You get to choose. That's the beauty of life. You get to choose. You don't have to be a victim. You can choose to be a survivor and move forward and be the one who creates something positive out of his life or her life. Um, out of the ashes of adversity. So if you're in that situation where you're at struggling to go through something difficult in life, and it's normal, everyone is at some point in their life, in some way in their life, everyone's going through a change, everyone's going through some sort of transformation. If you're in that stage of your life and you're looking for um, a way forward, then um, I would strongly advise you to get in touch with me before those two places run out. Um, because December is going to be hugely busy for me because I've got, um, like you've probably seen on my social media, I've got plenty of stuff going on with prison speaking events and so on. And uh, I've got all of my one-to-one -one clients as well. Plus, I'm trying to write my book as well at the same time. So it's very busy for me at the moment. But I've got two spaces left. So if anyone's interested, please get in touch and uh, I'll have a chat with you and see how I can help you. And I hope that has helped some people uh, reframe their perspectives so that they actually work for you. Speak to you all next time and have a great week. See you soon. Bye.